Speech, speech, speech. So Rebecca, 24.3 was leak. <laughs> Go watch the podcast. <laughs> Dude, That's I what I was waiting for, up. the podcast also, live. Uh, we have a very important uh, conversation. To, I have to ask my dad after. That's been taking up way too much space in my brain. You have to just talk to Matt. Look, we're not going to focus on that right now. That's how big it is. Um, but other than that, yeah, I was fired up yesterday. I saw. And then people were, I know it's like not that crazy of a deal when it comes to just doing the workout, but. So if you watch the, like, 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 plug the podcast, I don't talk too much about it, just plug the podcast. Look, so people podcast go to the No Regrets podcast, the yeah. best podcast you could ever watch that talks about fitness and everything in between. Because you really go into detail on the podcast, so. Go on um, YouTube, my YouTube channel, which you guys are probably on right now, and Spotify, and what's the other one, Apple Podcasts, and, all that I can answer your questions all of your fitness questions and all of your non-fitness questions all on the no regrets podcast but yeah 24 3 is about to go down and you're always way more nervous for the ones that like that are kind of more in your wheelhouse at mm -hmm. least for me personally for sure. so I've been like working myself up with this one and just after watching the live announcement and people like crashing and burning hard on this workout got me more excited which I think is a good thing but I don't want to be a victim of it, so I don't know what we're gonna do on this one, but I'm excited to see how it goes. Yeah. You got a hair tie? Yes, I had to take it off my wrist because it rubs here. I was starting to think about was it real? Huh? Your hair tie real? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> but I guess for the ladies mostly, a lot of ladies came up to me after they're like so relatable. Yeah, for real. I got that one. I was like, I know. Yeah. And fellas with long hair out there. Hey, me too. I think Matt should grow it as hair. How long could he get, though? Because he's gotten to mullet stages before. <laughs> oh, he has to do a mullet. I mean, I'm down for a mullet, but he always tr tries to do it when it's, like, getting too warm outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. He's like, I don't know how you guys do it with the hair. I'm like, well, you get used to it. You get used to it. Anyway. I don't think I got anything else before we do a lot of thrusters and a lot of stuff in the bullet bar. Wish me luck. Let's go. Blowing up the jack, got the loud jumping up the pack. Everything I'm on slap. Everything I do is. Rebecca Fusilay from CrossFit Jump in the pack. Vibe blowing up a jack, got the loud jumping up the pack. Everything I'm on slap. Everything I do is. Got the bands jumping up the pack. Another milestone, look at that. Paper boy, got my paper route, till I'm six down on my back. I'm an old soul like my dad. My old girl's still a fan. The yo girl at the live show, so don't act like I ain't the man. I'm kicking my feet up, get frank like Aretha. I'm calm, but I'm teed up, just flip me a stack. The re up just doubled up off of the muscle, I stuck to the task. They see me, I'm troubled, I'm bubbling up till it's stuck, and they want me to stay where I'm at. I'm good everywhere that I'm stepping, my presence is crucial. You know that this shit, not no trend. On a big wave, I'm controlling the tides. Snake eyes when you rolling the dice. So with the stakes inside, I can never take another nigga advice They can't reach the sky, I'm aiming up high, I just wanna know what it's like Y'all know what it's like, I come from my side of this Off the quicksand, I'm the big man, doing big things, cop a big change Up a state lines, doing stage dives on cam It ain't no limit to my vision, check the temp, I'm on fire with it Got the bands jumping out the bag, Prosecco on ice I'm nobody nice, I run up a check, them in my respect I'm doing the most Quit. They want me to quit. I'm good as it come, I'm good as it gets. Vibe blowing up the jack, got the loud jumping up the pack. Everything I'm on slap. trying to push those last two rounds but I thought my hands were gonna slip off. What? Hey, no. <laughs> You've been eating everything this morning from bugs to mushrooms to ribs. Sopped up on the shrooms. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for yelling. What do you think? 
good. It's really good. I was gonna say, Renato's on the phone. We should put like some Swan Lake music to the background of the full video because you guys are like navigating around <laughs> each other and like people like circling me. <laughs> I was wondering, because nice. I was like, because you, you never had, had like, like a nice dance going, y'all yeah. were like trading <laughs> oh, That's a wrap on the open. I don't know why I was just like, I woke up this morning and last night when they announced it. The open is the open, right? Yeah. I want to compete hard. I want to, I think this will be my best open finish, which is super exciting. Um, but I was like, I feel like I'm anxious to wrap it up and I want to finish strong. Then we got a few weeks until quarterfinals, so I had weird emotions this morning. That's why I was here a little bit later. <sighs> that feels good to wrap it up. Do great. Tips! Man, this workout's so different for everyone. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just managing... Obviously, it's gymnastics volume for a lot of us. It's being smart with how you break up hanging on the pull-up bar. It's... It's not bad to break the thrusters. I would say maybe not start with that from the beginning unless the bar is super heavy for you guys, but it's not bad to break those, but realize by the time you drop the bar, it settles and you clean it back up. That's a lot of time. Whereas if you get yourself on a good height pull up bar, do a set, hop down, shake it out really quick and hop back up, that's gonna be a better, like more forgiving break and not waste a whole lot of time. Uh, for most people out there, please, please, please break up the gymnastics to two to three sets. And then if you have room to kick at the end, that's when you want to hang on. But that's that's the biggest part of this workout is, it's kind of like how we talked about, I almost feel like we've talked about this every week. So you have energy to kick at the end. This workout, we thought it was going to be more transition-y. No, we were resting on the transitions, trying to be smart with how we did the gymnastics. So break it up, realize you can rest on the ground and keep your heart rate down so you can uh, avoid this big lactate buildup and that burn that you're gonna get eventually on this workout. The longer you can hold that off, the better you're gonna be and you're gonna do this well in this workout. You can easily blow up right away, uh, but if you kind of push off the, that lactate buildup and that burn, it'll feel really good towards the end. Those last two rounds, I think I could probably gain a little bit of time just from trying to just gut it out a little bit more, but I'm happy with it. So that's a wrap on the open for me. Good luck for, for everyone out there wrapping it up yourselves. All right. It's a redo time. Yay. This is like... I was thinking, all, first of all, first of all, back it up, back it up. Yeah. Back it up. That. We're not going to explain the whole thing right now. I'll explain the whole thing afterwards because it's a long story. But we're redoing 24-3, and it was the longest weekend of my entire life. I've dreamt about this workout the last Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, three nights. So we got to make it count right now, this redo. Uh, redo, or excuse me, first attempt went really, really well, um, but we want to do better and possibly secure this one in the bag. Put it in the bag. In the bag. <laughs> I'm gonna save my, my breath and my words. All right, that's all we yeah, needed. That's all. that's all we needed. I need all, the, all, all my oxygen <laughs> for this one.
That was badass. That was fucking awesome. That was awesome. Sweat angel on the floor. <laughs> Told you I sweat. <laughs> My arms were burning so much more than that first attempt. I go, oh no. Because they started burning. Is it good? Because they started burning like in the first the first five rounds and I go, oh. <sighs> It's just this workout they like it hurts so bad right after. Yeah. That first bar muscle up is probably the worst. We did it. I lately I've been catching myself saying at, at the end of workouts it's over. <laughs> it's kinda <laughs> like the reassurance that everything's okay. And I kind of get that feeling like when you get I talked about this a little bit before, like I feel like my pain cave is like 75% of the workout done, like three quarters of the way in when you're just past halfway, but you're not quite to the finish line yet. I feel like that's when it starts to burn and hurt really bad. And then at the end of the workout, I'm like, it's over. Like knowing that you're going to get through it. When those workouts get tough, like you're going to get through it. It'll be over really, really soon. Um, and all the, all the pain is going to, gonna go away and it's gonna be worth it so successful redo I didn't think I'd be redoing an open workout right now just because the open shouldn't be that much stress on us but hey there's not many chances you get to chase down the top time to chase down like the, the world record for a workout so you got to take it and have some fun with it but you can ask Matt I was my brain was like non-existent in the real world over the whole weekend. It was solely focused on this workout. I dreamt about it every night to the point where I'd wake up every, the last three mornings being like, did I do it? Did I already do the workout? What happened? <laughs> did I do good? And then I woke up this morning after dreaming about it again, I go, oh, today's the day. But I actually woke up like way more excited than rather than nervous to do it because I've been waiting since the last, the first attempt I did was Friday morning. And I knew it would be a long weekend to wait to try to redo it again to see if we could get better. But here's the ugly side of the story. And I want hopefully a lot of people to see this and realize the why some of us top athletes say like the qualifying stages are the most stressful because we have to do like video review and everything. And me being the perfectionist that I am and having like a pretty big social following and everything. I wanna make sure my videos look quality. There's no questions about it, that this is legit, the score is legit, all, of, all the reps look good and everything. So when we record it, I ha always have my main camera, which is my phone, and then the backup camera, which is my iPad, just in case one goes down, we have two running. And they're set up like very, very close to each other. And on my phone, I went back and looked at the video after we did our first attempt. And I really, really, really didn't like how the angle was like not doing my squat depth justice and not doing my lockout justice. And I talk, I did a little video on this um, uh, before of just like, everybody's always asking about my elbows. Say hello to my lovely elbows, okay? I wear my elbow sleeve because it's an old gymnastics injury that still bothers me to this day, but it's gotten a lot stronger since, cross, since I've done CrossFit and weight training and everything and I was prone to 
injuries, elbow injuries in gymnastics. I injured both of them, broke this one um, and fractured this one. So part, the main reason for it is my elbows bow like this, you guys can see that. So when I have them overhead, a lot of times they don't look completely locked out, but they most definitely are. You just have to look at it from different angles. Like they look funky, they look weird. So I didn't like how that angle was looking as well as like my squat depth. I squat well below parallel and I know that angle wasn't doing it justice. So long story short, going back to what I said, I want my video to be non, no questions asked. It's legit. Um, and then I wanted to make sure it followed all the rules. My backup camera showed a much, much better angle, but we didn't bring it over to the weights to show all the weights. You can see us with my main camera, like videoing the weights and I can prove all of that, but I wanted to be no questions, a good video that shows all the weights, all the standards, the workout done correctly. So that's why I've been stressed this whole weekend. And then I came in today wanting to hit a successful redo. I find that one was much, much more painful than the first round. And I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just because I knew where it was going to start hurting. Mm -hmm. I think it was just that. But other than that, that was the story of 24-3. Um, official time is 7.52. And I'll be putting that up. What was your first time? First time was 8.08. .08. So that's a big improvement. Huge, huge improvement. We got a little bit faster on the split. And I just tried to hang on, like step up to the bar a hair of a second faster on the last five rounds. So in the end, it made up. First round, you were flying, bro. You were flying on the yeah, first round. I think, so I think my shoulders were burning a lot more this time around because I was tightening up my chest of bars. Like I was cycling them yeah. really fast. On the first attempt, I was just kind of doing a rhythm where I could keep my breath and like keep breathing really well. I like was sprint. Those were like sprint chest of bars for me. And I felt my lats and my shoulders start burning up a lot more in this attempt, but we're able to hold it up off and make up. What is that? 16 seconds. Mm -hmm. Is that my math? Wow. I thought maybe like yeah. I'd be happy with a five second improvement or something. So yeah. I'll take that one. First time was 808. This time 752. That'll be the score we put on the leaderboard. Let's see if it sits at the top. That would be so like, this is really cool. And this is why I put a lot of pressure on myself. I really want to put on my CrossFit resume, like has an open workout. <laughs> so dreams, yeah, yeah. I'm going to dream about it the rest of the day and see if it stands up there. You have a WZA win, don't you? What's that? You have a WZA win, right? A Wadapalooza workout win? Yes, um, yeah. for the handstand hold. But that's, that's like a, that's a handstand hold. <laughs> this is a CrossFit workout. So... There's not many chances you get just being that the open is the open and there's so many, is the world doing it? Yeah. So many possibilities and everything. So let's, fingers crossed. I want it. I fought for it today. That's all I had today for it. So also, side note, I don't know if you noticed, but I changed the color of the thumbnail a little bit. It's usually oh. like blue, but I changed it to, it's a goldish color. Oh. Yeah. Cause you were hinting, you're putting mm -hmm. it out in the yeah. universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, There's sure. a, so I'm not like one to hold in like a lot of like, when, when people ask me like my score around here, I'll tell them like, I'm not going to like, be yeah, all secretive yeah. and everything, but there is that little bit of like, can I kind of keep it on the down low guys? <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't want this one, this time to be out there just yet, but after today and everything, I just kind of like want to speak it into the universe. Like let's, like that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be hard to beat. Like those are those are two of my best movements of squat volume and and gymnastics pulling. Um, so I think it's gonna be very hard to beat that time. But if someone does, all respect to them. But hey, I put I think I put up a good fight today. So that's the story of 24-3. Fingers crossed. It keeps us on on top of the leaderboard. Let's go. Let's go.